is Frankly Speaking with Muywa Afolabi. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves and please receive Muywa Afolabi, your practical career success coach. Enjoy. It's how I stay ahead, yeah. Seven, one, zero. It's how I keep it simple. Seven, one, zero. It's how I do things faster. Money, buy airtime, and pay bills with one dial. Dial star 710 hash to open a diamond yellow account today. Diamond, your bank. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning to you all. Hope you're doing great this morning. Welcome to Frankly Speaking, your favorite business, career, and mindset talk show on radio. My name is Muiwa Afolabi. It's a pleasure to share time with you again this morning. Today, let's talk about knowing where to go in life. <laughs> where to go in life. So this one, I've titled Finding Your Way. Finding Your Way. The world today is full of too many hardworking non-achievers. The real potentials and possibilities of our nation is yet to be harnessed or realized because many of us are not doing what we should be doing. We are actually busy at what we assume we should be doing. Success does not come by doing what you find. Success does not come by doing what you choose. You can only be successful by doing what you should be doing. Uh, you see, the world can be very difficult and uninteresting for people wrongly placed in life. If you are working hard on something not meant for you, if you are toiling very hard in a place not meant for you, you will not be a happy or fulfilled person in this life. If the motivation, pleasure and happiness on your job is tied exclusively to the money made, I'm afraid you're perhaps not in your place in this world. Uh, if you're not deriving joy, fun and satisfaction from doing what you're currently doing, you're most likely in a place not meant for you. Money and financial comfort should be a byproduct of an interesting and fulfilling career venture. It should never be the motivating factor. What you do should in itself bring excitement, motivation and inspiration. If you're not motivated and inspired by your job, you will hardly be happy at it. If you don't enjoy what you do, you won't be excited about it. If you're not excited about it, you can be creative with it. If you're not creative with it, you can be innovative about it. And if you're not innovative, you'll become obsolete, irrelevant, outdated and constant consequently broke. <laughs> it is impossible to improve or grow or be innovative about something you don't find exciting or interesting. That, I submit, is a major bane on our collective speed of growth and development in Nigeria. Many of us are just doing the basic required of us in our employment. We are not applying our minds to innovation, creativity and improvement. This is because we really don't enjoy what we do. No, we're doing it basically for the salary. The primary motivation for employment for many Nigerians is the financial reward, not the job or task itself. Many of us were unfortunately raised and nurtured to prioritize money as the exclusive definition of a good employment, so it is not entirely our fault. A fantastic job today in Nigeria is defined by how much you are paid, not how fulfilling or satisfying the job is. This orientation is unfortunately frustrating our productivity index as a nation as many of us are working for salary and not for real productivity. 
productivity. Uh, many of us go to work daily because we have to show up to get paid. Even if we do nothing all day long, we don't feel guilty, we don't feel bad about it. We showed up, hence should get paid. That's why many of us look forward to public holidays with excitement. <laughs> if you are employed in organizations that pay rather well in Nigeria, you are perceived as lucky and successful. Even if you hit the job, hit the place, find it restricting, frustrating, demeaning, stressful, and in total contrast with what you truly love and want to do in life. A society where cash is primarily celebrated as evidence of success cannot truly grow, develop, or advance as it should. This is because the people will avoid employment at places they rightly belong and gravitate towards employment that tend to pay more cash-wise. Psychology, history, and research have confirmed people tend to excel more doing what they are gifted and passionate about, not really what they studied in formal school settings. Uh, talented and passionate people are the most successful people in the world through history and till now, not only in net worth but in impact and transformation effected within the societies and beyond. Success is not just what you possess. Success is measured more by what you influenced and improved positively in your society and in your generation. A mentality and venture that prioritizes what you can acquire and own will bring you deep regret and loneliness in the later years of your life. Being successful in life comes from pursuing wealth, not just riches. Being rich is measured in terms of cash and items and properties. Being wealthy, however, is measured in terms of cash, items, properties, and most of all, people. The number of people you know in this world is not as important as the number of people who know you, who love you, who appreciate you, and desire to bless you. Your wealth is measured by the number of people who know you and appreciate you enough to release things to you freely without you paying for it. When people are willing to offer you houses, cars, food, travel tickets, seven-star hotel experience, offer you free holidays, vacation trips, scholarships, for your children, free medical services, and all you desire in life without you paying for anything. You are indeed wealthy. When your name and reputation becomes more valuable than your bank balance, you are indeed wealthy. A life situation where you have to pay for every single thing you want in this world will eventually leave you broke, frustrated, and limited. A rich man may struggle to own and maintain a private jet, for example, but a wealthy man can have a private jet any time he wants for free with just a phone call to one of his admirers who is got it. Life is more beautiful when you allow yourself to appreciate the little things, uh -huh. the little things. Uh -huh. Every day is more complete when you can enjoy uh -huh. the simple things. Uh -huh. The simple things A little more convenience Can go a long, long way You'll be amazed How much time you save yo. When you leave the star 9 of 4 Hush in life Star 9 of 4 Hush Oh yeah, I'll pray to shop, shop, retard Like pam, 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 pam Star 9 of 4 Hush Wherever you are to reload is easy Like pam, 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 pam Star 9 of 4 Hush Shows down star 9 of 4 Star The amount you want to recharge And hush and with one single dial, you recharge like bum, 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 bum. Buy airtime instantly, directly from your bank account. Simply dial star 904 star, the amount of airtime you want, and hash. Many Nigerians toil every day to become rich, but very few understand how to become wealthy. The key to wealth is when you decide to invest in people and not just in things. The key to wealth is when you have the best answers to people's problems and situations. The key to wealth is when you decide to work on people and not for people. People. Ha. How do I mean? Working on people is the career effort you make to improve their lives and make them better. When you lift people, when you promote people, when you coach people, offer opportunities and support their dreams, you're working on 
people, every human being is born with a gift, a talent, an ability to solve a humanity problem. It could either be a physical challenge, an emotional or psychological problem. This capacity and passion to work on people is inborn. The day we decide either by external influence or by choice to prioritize ourselves, our needs and our wants is the day we subjugate this inborn passion and miss the opportunity for wealth creation. People who are active at meeting the needs of others, solving their problems, improving them, offering them opportunities and chances for jobs, for business, for growth, for improvement and riches are the wealthiest people on earth. The world celebrates them, hence they're called celebrities. They're mostly talked about and the media makes them famous, hence people that matter know them and will do favors for them. A celebrity is not just an entertainer, no, you can become a celebrity in any field of vocation by becoming outstanding, excellent, popular and phenomenal. Uh, many politicians, enterprise owners, religious leaders, doctors, engineers, lawyers, hoteliers, fashion icons, models, sports people, IT experts and even military personnel have become celebrities through outstanding performances, audacity to be themselves, manifesting their uniqueness and creativity and giving others growth and improvement opportunities. To be honest, Doing this will be difficult when you're servicing someone else's vision by being employed by them perpetually and all life long. Your own glory, manifestation and influence can only be fully expressed in your own place where you can fully unleash your own unique God-given abilities. Your ability to do this excellently is connected to you doing what you're designed and meant to do in this life, not chasing after financial reward, a vocation or career you don't naturally fit into all your life. Oh dear friend, if you don't want to end up with an average life experience, it's time you review your journey through this life. At this time of the year, it is wisdom to consider how far you have come, where you're headed and where you really should be headed. Uh, make wise decisions and be willing to pay the price of time, effort and discipline to pursue your God-given unique dreams. Don't just go through this life, make your life count. Don't chase material possessions that usually fade with time. Invest in your dreams, invest in yourself. Don't sneak through life. Decide to make your life great. Mm. And for more inspirational episodes of this talk show, kindly visit my website at www.muiwaafolabi.com. Till I come your way again tomorrow for another inspiring episode of your favorite talk show, my name is Muiwa Afolabi. Please enjoy your day. Hello, I just got back from the States and I need to buy a SIM, you know, so that I can have a number, you know, catch up with folks and peeps, yeah? Auntie, na nyafu nyafu bonus you need. What's yafu nyafu? If you join MTN, you go enjoy this bracket. What's bracket? You feel do anything we like with the bonus, chatting, you know, browsing, you know, texting, you know, calling, you know, to all network for Nigeria. No condition, complete freedom, everything, no buckle. Excuse me, I don't understand. What's buckle? For example, now, eh, if you recharge 100 Naira, they go give you 600. Naira. If not 200 Naira, they will give you 1,200 Naira. Eh, bros, ye, show me the way na. Get an MTN SIM, activate it, and get six times of all your recharges every time you recharge. Also, enjoy free data to download, chat, and do much more on MTN Deals Zone. Sister, you be here like this, now you can't deform. Bros, you know na, na packaging. Frankly Speaking with Muiwa Falabi, a production of Frontiers International Services Limited, is proudly brought to you by MTN. Everywhere you go.